So um, El Jefe, um, I know you from your work with the Diana Initiative, but for the benefit of everyone out there on Beercom One, give us an introduction. What do we need to know about you? Oh, great. Thanks. Uh, so my name is El Jefe de Security Online um, on Twitter and, and various uh, online uh, uh, channels. Um, but my real name is uh, Raul Rojas, and I work for Microsoft. Um, I am the uh, security architect for the search ads, news, and research division within Microsoft. So I, I have an opportunity to do and see a lot of crazy things with with uh, a, a global scale of, of uh, uh, um, uh, internet, right? So, you know, how, how everyone sits there and says they, they talk about Google and, you know, everyone wants to go Google. I sort of kind of say, well, you know, I, I bang, <laughs> you know, um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's what my background is. That's where, where I work and what I do um, on a day by day basis. Um, and yeah, so we, we first met uh, at the, the Diana Initiative a couple of years ago. Yeah. So I, I will want to talk about the Diana Initiative at, because, you know, you're kind of representing them here on BeerCon 1. But I do want to start maybe with um, Microsoft. Now, a huge investment uh, Microsoft has made uh, in security across the board. Um, as your platform being sort of the, I would say, uh, the evolution of, you know, uh, all sorts of security layers um, and security capability. Are, I, right. are, are you migrating the products that you're sort of responsible for to that as your platform or, or are they already on them? Yeah, that's a great question, right? So, um, for example, the, the areas that, that I work with, right, which are search, ads, and news spaces, um, they, they have, you know, a pretty significant infrastructure worldwide, right? right. We have regional deployments. Here in the U.S. and Europe, we have presence in, in various nations for the regulatory pers uh, uh, controls needs. Um, you know, presence in India and China, right? We, we're, we're we're not just here, but as well as Australia, and, and uh, uh, you know, we're, we we have coverage, you know, worldwide for for search, um, as well as for the the capabilities that we provide for, you know, our other platforms like Office and Azure, right? So. Mm -hmm. That infrastructure has been around for a good decade, right? And that was the original, 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 right, uh, incarnations of what you now see as, as the modern evolutions of, of Azure platform as, and the service fabric and, and the substrate that, that builds up the graphs that we have, you know, today, right? So, you know, we're, we're sort of kind of like, you know, victims of our own success. There's like, you know, we have all these new capabilities that are now available in Azure. So, we want to take advantage of that. Well, that means we have to migrate parts of our our, our, our search platform up to that uh, new platform as well. And some things are already there, like ads and, and rewards. You know, I love rewards. You know, I kept that on my Xbox and on my phone and everything else, right? And that's a lot of fun for me, right? Because I turn that right around into you know you know uh, benefits as well, right? That I can give to you know things like the Diana Initiative and 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 uh, uh, other charities like you know. Uh, uh, this event, right, for example, right? So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of, you know, uh, work that we do to put stuff and move stuff or new stuff or new development on Azure today because we get a lot of benefit from the scale um, yeah. and the regionalization, right, that, you know, enterprises get as well. Um, you know, so, you know, we um, a lot of our platform is, is just raw compute, right? Um, you know, dot .NET based compute you know, that's really highly performant and, and, and uh, optimized for, for, you know, indexing the, the, the world's internet, right? So yeah. um, that's, that's, you know, a, a lot of what we do in that. And then, you know, for the, the security of those things, right, is like, I mean, if you think about it from the perspective of, you know, we do a lot of advertising, you know, and, and we, we make sure that, that those ads go out to those people. And, and there's, there's a lot that we need to make sure to protect the, the data and the integrity of, of you know, how we, we uh, address, you know, when, when those ads pop up and how they pop up and make sure they're contextually aware based on, on what you search 
um, and making sure that we're we're not taking into account uh, the the personalization, right? We're we, yeah. we we take a lot of work and effort into making sure that you know we 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 uh, protect the the the, the user session and profile. Um, almost fanatical, like uh, like it's it's a new religion across the the the, the, the company. Um, and ever since GDPR, we 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 uh, we we go above and beyond to to include that as you know you you probably heard of like the Microsoft Trust Promise. That's right. Um, right, and and you know there there's a lot that goes behind that. Everything down to you know separate identities for things for production and making sure there's, you know, uh, full authorization chains for everything. And, um, you know, uh, you know, we, we, we encrypt every bit of customer data, you know, that, that we uh, are entrusted with. Right. Um, so um, there, there's a lot that goes behind that and, and the audit controls that support all that. Right. So, you know, there's a lot to think about with that, you know, and then, Oh, by the way, you know, how do we build those new experiences? How do we build, build those new, uh, uh, things that we want to go do with our research and, and things like our cognitive services and those APIs that that drive, you know, new machine learning and, and, you know, making sure that those things don't have inherent bugs when we ship those APIs for things yeah. like, uh, you know, the data modeling and data visualization, you know, the, the, the AIs that are being developed out of, you know, bot frameworks and, and, and the experiences, you know, we, we we're we're, we're bringing with customers and, and the scenarios that they're bringing to us with as well, right? Um, it's 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 amazing, right? Um, for example, right? I mean, some of, some of the fun things that I get to play with is you know everything from IoT devices uh, using Azure Sphere all the way up to you know saying hi to a plant in in my office when I walk in every morning. Cool. Right. Um, right. So it's it's. It's you know crazy being part of that research part of the the company um, that also has you know that fundamental core root that that built Bing from the beginning right I mean Bing was a research project way back in the day and um, that, that that whole uh, you know researcher uh, culture is, is is very well ingrained in that 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 that's, part of the division. That's example. really really cool. So you can confirm at this point that there is no longer any front page uh, extensions being used. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Right. Uh, um, good news. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's interesting because Microsoft has a long and and some people would say challenged history with introduction of new a uh, new technology and and things Indeed. like that. Um, you know, there are folks that argue that the .NET ecosystem is is more difficult to accomplish things um, at scale. Uh, how do you respond to folks that are sort of like uh, feel that open source is is you know the the only solution? Um, I don't know. I <laughs> that that's sort of kind of like I don't know. Well. For example, I've been at the company for 20 years. Right. Let's start with that, right? Um, and uh, I, I started back when, when you know, there wasn't even this thing that we called open source, right? It, it really was before, you know, this whole concept was really, you know, being published as that one seminal paper called the Cathedral in the Bazaar, mm -hmm. right? And if, if you haven't read or heard about that, I'd suggest you go check that out, yeah. right? And and here we are, you know. You know, 25 years later, if you will, almost, right? Because you know, back then I was working, you know, in, in college with, with Slackware 3.1, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. From from this guy Linus, who was, you know, a freaking, you know, oh my God, what 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 the hell is this guy doing, taking HP UX and 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 other Unix systems and building it for 386 PC? Yeah. Okay, let's run it. <laughs> Right. That that was that was our mindset, right? And this was me pre 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 Microsoft, right? When I was still touring with the dead during college and, and hanging out with Rolling Stone uh magazine, you know, for, for my internship, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, fast forward twenty twenty years, twenty five years now, and you know, the bazaar is in the cathedral. Yeah. Right. If you really think about it right now, it's it's adopting, you know, a lot of the old 
mechanisms that the cathedral has had uh, as part of its old dogma. And so we're seeing this this evolution across open source, and we're seeing it happening across enterprise customers. And, and we have the same problem as, as you know search ads and news businesses. We have all this open source, mm-hmm. and we're using and consuming open source, and we're leveraging those 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 modules and components, right? And 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 contributing back in a variety of ways. Not just from us, but from research, right? We could contribute a lot of things. So if you go check that yeah. stuff out, right? It's all out there. All of our samples. I mean, all of .NET Core is now out there on GitHub, right? I mean, just knock yourself out, read the code, right? Compile right, it. You can go right. fork it if you want, right? Um, and you know, the 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 exposure is all there. So the argument that it's complicated. Well, I mean, if if you grew up with it like me, it's easy, right? Because <laughs> I've, I've always had Visual Studio. I've always had VS Code. I've always had PowerShell. It yeah. was always at my fingertips. I, know I grew up understanding uh, the, 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 the hardware abstraction layer for Windows, right? And meanwhile, everyone outside that scope is learning the same thing in Unix, right? Right, right. But, right, at, at some point, somewhere along the lines, I remember being there at one meeting, where one of our executives, you know, point blank asked, who here would ever want to see SQL on, on, on Linux? Yeah. And there was a hushed silence. And I was only one of three people who raised my hands. I looked up and I looked around. <laughs> 5,000 people in the room, all internal Microsoft people. I was only one of three people who raised her, 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 my hand. And I can hear this guy say, okay, okay, we've got a long way to go. Right. Yeah. Here yeah. we are, 2019, and, and what are we doing? Announcing friggin' SQL on on Linux, and you know, hey, you know, if you want Linux on the desktop, just install Windows 10. Hey, it's right there um, yeah. with yeah. with with Terminal Server, right? And you know, all the packages are available. You know, I can run Docker from it. I can run all my my you can my, run Cali my other from it. I can run <laughs> Cali from it. That's a funny story, right? We can run yeah. Cali from it, but guess what happens when I install it in my 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 domain at work? I get a phone call from my friends over in the Cyber Defense Operations Center saying, hey, Raul, what are you doing downloading Cali? We just saw you go do that. Yeah. Um, and they're getting that through the Defender telemetry data, right? Because yeah. Raul Domain joins into and all that. And I'm like, dude, that's creepy. Don't do that to me, right? I'm, I sit yeah. right next to you guys every day. <laughs> um, and you know, we can do that amongst our security folks. But guess what? If we do that to one of our, our end users, yeah. they get freaked out right so yeah we, we we take that very seriously and we want to be responsible with what we do with that and and even more so when it comes to our customers data and and we we, we fight like cats and dogs inside the company but when it comes to our customers don't dare come after us because we will fight even harder right we we fight really hard to make sure that we protect that data we're doing the right thing to protect it and, and secure it um and and uh you know the incidents that, that have happened over the past couple of years with data leaks and, and uh, you know, supply chain uh, some, uh, gaps and, and social media companies uh, and, and, and research companies. I mean, that to me, that, that came really close to heart, right? I mean, being sure. part of, you know, the Microsoft Research Division, you know, you know, what if one of our researchers is working with some, some you know, educational institution and inadvertently has some, some customer data? Right. Well, you know, thankfully, you know, I, I, I spent the last, you know, five, six years working through making sure that we have full accountability of the data provenance and lineage. Right. Which, right. you know, I mean, you know, that, that makes sure that, you know, what kind of data do we have? Right. GDPR fundamentally changed everything that we do and how we look at data and what we think is customer data and what we think is personal data. Um, and, 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 and really up the, the ante in terms of, you know, the, 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 the impact and implications uh, for the responsibility that we have as Microsoft. Because, yeah, I mean, Facebook might have, you know, you know whatever their consumers and Twitter might have, you know, all their, their users and all that. But, you know, as Microsoft, right, I mean, we have the, 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 the added impact of having to deal with the infrastructure of not just, you know, almost every customer and enterprise across the U S but potentially the world. Yeah. And that includes nation states. Right. And so that yeah. puts us at a, at a, uh, at a serious, you know, uh, uh, heightened watch and an elevated, you know, uh, uh, you know, 
work effort that we have to do there to, to protect those. And a lot Fantastic. of effort and a lot of investments to make sure that, you know, we, 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 we defend against, you know, all adversaries, you know, both foreign and domestic. Lovely. Um, I, I want to move though, because we've got about five minutes. Yeah. You take yeah. the passion of your, of your career um, and your recent work with Microsoft and you're pouring that passion into the Diana initiative. What do people Indeed. need to know about the Diana initiative and why is it so important? The Diana initiative is a great initiative to help bring new talent into the, the security community. Uh, that uh, haven't had those opportunities uh, available to them, right? Particularly are women and people of color. Uh, I believe that you know it's a it's a it's a great way to to give uh, uh, an opportunity to, to uh, them in a safe place where they can you know it, you know share and, and learn and work and, and get exposure to uh, the same type of technologies. And, and for me, that's that's really important because it, it it helps build. You know that that talent funnel because um, you know that everybody uh, is is looking for talent and and the type of talent that we need to bring into the the, the marketplace is, is more than just you know hey you know we, we need women but we need, we need all, all all folks you know of, of not just women but you know um, you know you know people of all all ethnicities and, and if if you think about it Microsoft is is a global company right yeah and and you think about it from you know you know you know what's our hiring perspective here in, in, in the U S right. And there's, there's, you know, how we, we, we look at that and how we hire for those people here and, 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 and the work we're doing to, to improve those balances and, and making sure that we're fair and, and, and we recognize those, those, uh, those talents across, you know, women and, and LGBTQ plus, uh, uh, folks, right. Um, and, and, you know, even supporting them with, with our benefits. Right. And, we want to be able to bring people into this community and have them have a safe place so that they can learn so that they can get that exposure to the training and the resources um, so that we can bring those talents and, 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 and that perspective into our engineering, into our security perspective, because, you know, the, that is going to be one of those things that, you know, as we look forward in the future with, with more machine learning and, and, and the perspectives of data bias, you know, bringing in that diverse perspectives, right, of, of women and people of color is going to be critical in the security space to be able to ask the right questions about how are we handling, you know, the personal data? How are we making sure that we're not removing the bias, but rather we're recognizing that bias in those data sets, right. making sure that we're, we're, we're being responsible ombudsmen with our customers when they're trying to do these implementations and, and making sure that they're not violating our own values and, and, and uh, you know, as, as a company as well, right? Um, so these are the same things that we're, we're dealing with, you know, um, at, at a macro level, but, you know, things that we apply even down to how we do that to, you know, our, our, our volunteer work, right? Um, yeah. And so, you know, I, I encourage folks to, to volunteer. I encourage, you know, everyone on my team to, to go out and reach out and, and, and find something to go and give back to the community because we're very blessed. We've, we've been given huge, huge opportunities and been super lucky to get into a company like, like where I'm at at Microsoft. And it, it's a damn freaking shame that we don't take that back out to the world and, 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 and give back, to, you know, all, all those that, that's been given back to me. Right. And so, you know, I, I look at that as, as my outlet to go and, and help bring, you know, uh, 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 help make that space happen, right? It's, it's so great. It's more than just dreams, right? Because, you know, let's, let's face it, dreams are lies. <laughs> it's the dreaming that's real, right? Because right, without you. loving the dream, it will never come true. So, right? so, so and, true. Right? So, and so Diana's, yeah. though, been expanding. Um, this, this year was, I think... Uh, what were the numbers? Because it's been growing ever since, and it grew to the point now where it's almost become uh, a, a convention unto itself. Yeah, I was I was really really amazed, right? When when I first you know joined them a couple of years ago, right? Um, they had gotten a a, a penthouse suite, right? And yeah, we had we had damn near. 900 people lined up outside in the hallway 
But part of my show came in is like, you, you, you guys got to do something. It's like, yeah, we know. We're, we're trying to push them out. And, like, and, and, and it, it was crazy, right? So um, we, we, we had a packed, you know, set of sessions. You know, and even in that little space, I mean, we realized there was so much pent up demand, even on day one, right? Um, that it, it was just in, in, impossible to, 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 to fathom, right? And then, you know, last year they, they moved over to the Westin and, and ended up expanding the, to a capacity that can handle uh, almost 3,000. And uh, um, my understanding is that they had a really great session, right? Um, I, I unfortunately wasn't able to, to participate a lot uh, during that week. Um, but uh, I know that they had, you know, some some great CTFs. I stopped in and saw them doing soldering. Um, they 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 have they had their own badge, and yeah, I mean, it was it was essentially a, a, a mini conference right there alongside DEFCON in its own right. And uh, yeah. they had, you know, a lot of great success uh, with with driving that. And I was I was really, you know, you know, a bit bummed myself to see it from afar, but also really excited to see that it was still going and seeing the success that they had. Right. Um, it, it, it was awesome um, from, from my perspective. Awesome. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in this next year because uh, um, they're, they're, they're just still you know, going strong. That's so great. And so thank you so much for your time. Uh, I know it's early morning for us, but late <laughs> for you. Um, do you appreciate it uh, so much? Um, Al Jefe de Security, uh, Secure yep. It. Um, my pleasure uh, having you on BeerCon One and hearing your passion and enthusiasm for both Microsoft and the Diana Initiative. Just, just great, great work and great supporting the community. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you too. And 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 you know, uh, a shout out to everybody. You know, um, you know, this is a great opportunity to to take a moment and, and you know, reach out to your friends, tweet out there, go out on Instagram, say hey. Let's let's push this through. Let's we've got another what twenty nine hours uh, to right. go on this, right? Let's, it may let's, feel... <laughs> let's hit that ten thousand, right? I'm gonna yeah. make a commitment right here, right now, right? If you manage to pull off another thousand dollars by uh, in the next ten hours, I'll match that dollar for dollar. Wow, that's super generous. Wow, right? Thank you so much. Make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Get me a thousand dollars, and I'll put down a thousand dollars in the next so, seven hours. I'll wake so, up. If I don't see a thousand dollars, I'll match whatever you guys got. So where well, are we well, at for, right now? For the record, we're at four thousand two hundred and fifty-five. So the challenge is to get that to five thousand two hundred and fifty-six, and we get a thousand from Al Hafe. That's so generous of you. I can't thank you enough. We'll do it. We'll 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 stoke the fires. All right, you guys make it happen. What what do we say? Ten hours? Yeah, sure. Ten hours. A thousand bucks in ten hours. Can you pull it off? I think so. Right. We've we've had Sweet. some success so far. Awesome. All right. Great. We'll check we'll check back with you and we'll let you know uh, how things are going. Uh, thank you so much again. Cool. Take care, man. And great right. job. Keep it up. <laughs>